Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a fast reverse speed ramps and how to make your videos flow. First of all let's select the song and press L button twice on your keyboard to open waveform. This will allow us to see all the beat drops of the song. And now we have to mark all beat drops just to sync the video with the song. As you see I have already marked them and to mark the beats, scroll to the highest peaks of the song and then press star on your keyboard to mark them. Once you are done marking, we can close waveform and begin making a flow video. First of all let's select your first clip and right click on it, then go to time and select enable time remapping. Scroll to the very beginning of your clip and then begin moving this time forward or backward to choose the beginning of your speed ramp. For example my speed ramp will start right from here, so now let's scroll to the beat drop, let me move this clips further. Once you are at a beat drop, begin moving the time again to choose the ending of the speed ramp. So now let's make that speed ramp reversed, make sure to move the second keyframe backward something like this, then copy first keyframe and paste where the beat drop is. Now cut the rest of the clip and delete it. Let me quickly show you what it looks like. Nice, now let's select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph, make a smooth curve like mine now. Once you are done with the curve, make sure to enable frame blending, tap here twice until you see an arrow. Let's close graph editor now and let's check the reverse speed ramp. Nice, and now the most important thing you should know and you should always do to get the clean flow. As you see my video goes backward and then it goes forward, it means my another clip should start from the same direction to create a continuous transition between two speed ramps. So make sure to always keep your videos going the same direction. If your first video goes backward, make sure your second clip starts from backward and it goes forward. I guess it's enough talking, let me show you what I mean. Let's drag another clip and enable time remapping on it as well. So as I've already said, my first video ends by going forward and now I will make my second speed ramp going forward as well. Nice, now let's jump to the next beat drop and choose the ending of the video. Let's now do the same reverse speed ramp, drag that second keyframe backward a bit, then copy first keyframe and paste where the beat drop is. Now cut the rest of the video and delete it. Let me show you how it looks like. As you see I've made a continuous movement and both of my clips are moving the same direction. Let's select keyframes now and press F9 on the keyboard and then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. I think you already got the point, now simply keep your speed ramps at the same direction, for example if your videos are going from the left to the right, make sure that your another clip will start from the same direction and that's it, it's the main secret you should know and do. I will skip the rest clips and let me show you what it looks like when you make your speed ramp flow. Nice, they all are synced with the song and the directions are the same and it looks amazing, but it misses too much things here. First, we have to stabilize the videos, then apply motion blur and also some shakes or effects. But this video is about how to make videos flow and fast reverse speed ramps. I will skip other parts because I have made these tutorials and you can check stabilization part below in the description. Let me show you the finished reverse speed ramp with stabilization and just a shakes from my preset pack. Note, if you want the full edit tutorial, make sure to check this video, I explained there everything you should know. And that's the final result. As I have already mentioned, always keep your every clip going the same direction and never speed ramp them just randomly. Keep videos going always the same way. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.